this is the one of their many screensavers that they have. Um, I love this one because it's like looking at a, a fish tank. Are there questions, Carrie, or? Uh, no, we had someone thank us very much. Uh, she's signing off before the demo, though. OK, so this is just the Roku. Um, actually, maybe before we, we do the Roku, I'll, I'll, I'll show you the, the, t the, the antenna. So let me just switch my input. So this is how you would switch. You would just, um, on your TV, it's going to look a certain way. Oh, I can't. I'm going to actually never mind on this because I forgot that my down button is not working on my remote. So we're just going to look at the remote and I'll switch it. I'll try to see if I can switch it manually after we finish this. So this is the Roku main screen. Uh, on the left, you'll see the menu and on the right, you'll see the apps. So these are all the apps that I have on here. This is the Hoopla app that we have from the library. And oftentimes you see on the right there, they'll have an ad for different services on there. If you were to click on that, it would go to an ad. First thing we're going to look at is the streaming channels. Um, this is where you would download the different apps that we talked about. Now they have the featured ones here. Discovery Plus is a brand new service. Um, it just came out, a lot of neat Discovery Channel shows on there. Um, some new ones, Paramount Plus is on there. They have ones that they think you might like. And then you can go into movies and TV, kids and family. Um, one thing that I wanted to show on here, uh, some of them you'll see that little, um, it says cable or satellite required. I don't know if you can read that on the right side, but if it says that, a lot of the cable channels have apps. And in order to view those apps, you need to have a cable service to view them. So you would need your cable login. So if you see that on there, cable or satellite required, that means that you need to have cables. One that doesn't have like PBS Kids, you don't need to have cable for that. So that's the that's how you would download uh, channels. Um, it has a, a neat thing with Roku is that you can do a search. So say that you're in the mood to watch a particular movie, but you don't know uh, what what device it, what streaming service it might be on. Um, you can do a search, and it keep, it remembers your your recent searches here. So say that you were in the mood to watch Frasier, um, you would just click on that. And then it tells you what services that's on. And um, so, oh, I want to watch season 11. It's on Peacock. Oh, season 10, um, I can watch it on Peacock or I can buy episodes. That's an, uh, a neat feature if you're looking for, it searches across all the different networks. So say, oh, I want to, I heard about Schitt's Creek. I heard that was great. And then you can see what seasons, oh, it's on Netflix. I can watch it that way because I have Netflix. Now say that you didn't have the service and you were like, oh, I want to know when that comes on next. So what you would do is you could say follow on Roku. And then you'll get an alert on your on the main screen. When you go back to, um, we're going to go back. I'll show you when we go back to the main screen. Another way that you can search is um, say uh, for an actor or director. So say that you were, oh, I want to watch a, a Nicolas Cage movie. I'm, I'm in the mood for some Nick, Nick Cage. So you can search for him and you get a whole big long list of all of his movies and you can see what oh I want to watch Valley Girl let's see what services that's on so oh you can see it's just available to rent on these particular services um, renting from Amazon it would just use your Amazon um, payment information to do that so that's a really neat I really like that feature on Roku because it if you're in the mood to watch a certain movie or show, you can find out exactly what channel it's on. And the My Feed, so if you followed a movie and you wanna know, oh, that's, I wanna see when that comes up. Right now it's just My Feed with no number next to it. If there is a new one available that you followed, it will have a number in parenthesis and it says, oh, that's available to watch. So um, that's about it. If people wanna see what Netflix looks like, I can open up Netflix. I don't know, um, I can just open that real quick. Oh, cause I didn't talk about profiles much. With both Hulu, Netflix, and now Amazon, you have different profiles. So you see, we have five different people that, that you can. 
Um, and each person has their own, you know, shows that they like to watch. So the great thing about that is if you have your own profile, you can just have your shows and movies on there and you might like completely different shows than your, um, your kids or your spouse or your whoever, and you can have your own profile um, and just have your stuff separate from their stuff. So then you choose your profile and then it has just, they'll always feature something new on the top. They're, they say, oh, you wanna watch Community? They have this stuff that you're putting, um, on a currently watching. There's, they show things that are popular right now. That, that changes often. I'm not sure what the difference between popular and trending now. You would think they would be the same. You can make a list on um, all, basically all the popular ones. You can do a, like say a show, oh, I wanna watch that. This is all my stuff that I have in the future that I wanna watch. So say you go to a show, like, oh, that looks interesting. I wanna watch that later. You would just say, um, add to my list. And then you just, and then when you go to that next screen, it often, it was starting to autoplay. Um, it does that sometimes when you go to that. I've turned off autoplay on the main screen. Sometimes if you haven't, as soon as you move, move, move on to it, it will start playing the movie. So. Um, that's Netflix and Hulu are, are similar with their layout, but that's how that Netflix looks. And then when you want to go back home, um, home to your Roku home screen, you would just click the home button on your remote. So that's Netflix. And uh, I don't know if anyone wanted to see any other services, what they look like, or if anyone had any questions, we can do that now. Well, so far there's nothing in the chat. I can do the, actually, let me do the, uh, the, t the, the, the antenna real quick, because I can do that on the TV. Actually, we've had a request for Hoopla as well. Oh, okay. I will do that after the, uh, so this is, this is the, uh, oops, let me just mute it real quick. So this is the digital antenna. So I have this plugged in right now. You saw I went right from my Roku to my um, antenna. This is ABC showing Jeopardy right now. And this is one of the bonus channels. Looks like it's an old uh, Frankenstein movie right now. That's, let's see how it's 10-3. Then we got, I'm not sure what this show is. It looks like a, an older TV show. And so that's basically um, how, it, and then it just, you can just browse right through it. Uh, oh, NBC is coming in good. The news is on now. And you can just easily switch back and forth. So I'm gonna, see they've got an old, uh, looks like a war movie or show. I'm gonna switch back to the Roku now. So that's, oh, it's MASH. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's really neat all the programs that you can see just on the digital antenna. So I'm gonna switch back to the Roku now. And this is the, what I was talking about before. You just switch back to the input and I have it on HDMI. And then it's, it's really easy to switch back. And if your remote works properly, you can just do it with your remote. So let's, we're gonna look at Hoopla now. This is the one that um, for East Greenbush, Skodak, and Castleton people can access this. And I don't know why mine doesn't say East Greenbush Library, but let me just move that over. I think I bumped into it. Okay. So I don't have anything out right now. I also keep a, a list of favorites, similar to the list that you can do in Netflix. Um, this is what I've previously watched. It was a scary movie with David Hyde Pierce. And then um, you have the movies. So they'll give you the popular movies up top. Um, uh, Tom and Jerry, music and lyrics, nice romantic comedy with uh, Hugh Grant and Hugh Grant Moore. Uh, different featured ones. Once you start watching stuff, they'll recommend stuff for you. Um, so they've got some thrillers for me. Action and adventure, children's. So that was movies. And then there's also a television section. So we've got Murdoch Mysteries, um, Mystery Road, The Detectorist. So we have some nice British shows on there for that can see the BBC. And you can um, get, if you wanted to watch one of these, what you would do is you would just um, click on it and you just pick the episode that you would want to watch. And if you wanted to save it to your list, you would just tap on the heart and that would save it so if you wanted to watch it later. And that is Hoopla. And you can also search if you're interested, if you're looking for a certain title. Oh, actually I did want to show real quick. I wanted to show Pluto because it's a, it's a, it's a neat, there, there, okay. 
it just has so much stuff on here and it's all it's free i haven't paid for any of this um on pluto it just takes a second to load but I, a lot of people i show this to always think it's neat because it has such um random stuff on there and i see that it's a little bit blurry okay so right now oh the, this channel is um showing macgyver so that's pretty cool and then if you go to the guide if you do this you go to the yeah, there's the guide and there's a show it looks like it shows all perry mason that's paramount plus picks um this is beverly hills 90210 channel shows all beverly hills 90210 cult films shows western movies and this is all for free so they'll just show you ads um occasionally just like you see ads on a on a regular um tv over there 80s movies 90s movies documentaries so um that's the live part of it you can also go over to, um, where is it? They have all the different sections. Oh, an on demand up top. So if you go to the on demand section, then you can just pick a, a movie or a show that you want to watch at that time. And they have all these like movies that you've, that you've heard, Ghost in the Shell, The Net, classic Sandra Bullock, Gone Baby Gone, Ben Affleck. Um, Cops is on here, Walker, Texas Ranger, Three's Company. I didn't even know Three's Company was on there. That's a great show. And that's all you can just, you can just put it on and you can just, oh, I want to watch Three's Company. So, and then you can just, um, you can put it on and it just takes a second to load. And then there you go. You're watching Three's Company on demand for, so it's really neat. So if back home, and uh, that's that's the end of that demonstration. So I'm going to just switch back to me. Okay. We have a couple and, more questions. Um, we'll in see the if chat. anybody. Has... Okay. Uh, one is my device is a 4K UHD update upscale Blu-ray disc DVD player wireless LAN built in, and that's where it ends. I'm I'm thinking they're probably asking if the wireless LAN means it has app capability. Um, yes, I would, if you're, I just wanted to, to know what functionality it has. Right. Um, I would, chances are, if it has Wi-Fi, then I would think that it would have uh, the apps um, either built in or you can download them from somewhere. Every device is different, but um, if it does, if it has Wi-Fi, there's a good chance that you can access Netflix and Hulu and um, anything you subscribe to through the Blu-ray player. Okay. Uh, it, and why do you know that it has Wi-Fi? Oh, you just told, didn't you say that it has Wi-Fi and LAN? It says it has a LAN, it has LAN. Um, it, it, it's, uh, I can plug it in with HDMI to my computer. Um, it says it has Java. I'm just reading off the back. Uh, what does it say in oh. the... Oh, it says wireless LAN built in. Okay, that yes, that means that it can access the internet. So um, it would act, it would access the internet to go on to Netflix and Hulu and things like that. Would that go through my router? Yes, um, there's probably a menu somewhere that's on the um, Blu-ray player that says connect to internet or something along those lines. Okay. And um, you would put in your, uh, you'd find your network list and put in your Wi-Fi password and then it should be able to connect to um, to the different streaming services. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we have another one says, uh, so to get to the Roku, you click on other sorts on your TV remote control Yes, it depends on wh what um, what port your Roku is plugged into. Um, you might have noticed on mine it said HDMI one um, or HDMI. Uh, mo just about every Roku um, on a TVs that have HDMI, that's how you would connect it. So you would just usually the way it would work is you just hit the input button until you see the the the, the label for where it's plugged into. So some TVs have like three or four different HDMI ports. And it's you and the newer ones tend to list like I um, someone I know they have they have a, a, a newer TV and as soon as you plug the Roku in it recognizes that's a Roku and it will on the label it will say Roku. 
So yeah, you would just tap the input button until you get to the right source. Uh, the antenna is usually on the TV. Um, there might be a cable one. It depends on your TV, but it's usually one of the HDMI's is how you would get to the Roku by tapping your uh, input button until you get to that particular um, input. Did that hopefully answer your question? Okay, and we have one more that says, doesn't Pluto doesn't show up on my smart TV. How do I access this? I replied that some smart TVs allow you to download more apps and others don't. But Selena, do you know if Pluto is a Roku exclusive? No, it is not because I know people uh, that that the Pluto is built into their TV, like the Pluto app is built into their TV or they can download it if their TV. Some TVs have their own app stores built into them and sometimes you can search for it. Um, I know Vizio often has Pluto um, as one of the apps, it, but it, yes, it, it, there are definitely TVs that have that as, as one of the apps, um, the Pluto. And it's also on um, Amazon Fire Stick as well, I'm pretty sure. Great, thank you. I think that is the last of the chat questions we've had. Okay, um, thank, uh, thank you everybody for attending. Um, we're gonna send out an email um, that will have this link here that you see on your screen as well as a link to a survey uh, to tell us about how you felt about the program. Um, if you would like to fill that out, that would be great. We love hearing what people thought about um, our events. And we thank you all for attending. And um, we hope you all have a great night.